Guys, I'm Deepthi Desikin and today's video is going to be a lip swatch video on some nude lipsticks for different skin tones. Now keep in mind what is nude for you might not be nude lipstick for me and our preferences can be and our preferences can be completely different. So I don't really like pale nude shades and I know a lot of my subscribers don't like it as well. So I have included a different shade of everything. There's a different tone shift to everything. So that um, whoever watches this video can take away something from this, might like some shade from this. Every single time I do these lipstick videos, I think I need to give a disclaimer that one, because they are nude shades, maybe most of the shades look a little bit similar, but I have tried to include as many different tones as I can in this video. But yeah, keep that in mind that there are people with different skin tones who like different shades of nudes. And I like to include different kinds of nudes in my lips. <laughs> I like to include different kinds of nude lipsticks in my lipstick videos. It's not just pale nudes that are nude shades. There can be pink nudes, there can be brown nudes, there can be mauve nudes, so many different nude shades. So yeah. And with all that being said, if you want to shop any of these lipsticks, I would recommend doing so with a little bit of cash back. Of course, with GoPesa. GoPesa is an online cash back and coupon giving app. I have mentioned about this app in so many of my videos and I genuinely use cashback apps wherever I can on a day-to-day -day basis be it to shop makeup shop anything in general and I recommend you guys do that as well they have around 1500 plus brands signed up with them so you are bound to find a brand of your choice to shop with and you can shop with additional cash back and this is real cash that you get back into your bank account and if you're wondering how to use GoPesa it's very simple you have to just click on the first link in the description box below with which if you sign up join and sign up you get instant 25 rupees cash back there you go you get your first cash back you can check on the brand that you want to shop with type that it will show you the cash back that is available and it will redirect you into that particular page where you can start shopping just keep this in mind that if you're shopping with amazon you have to keep your cart empty for the cash back to be tracked and just start shopping as usual so once you're done shopping and you've placed the order you can come back to the my account page on the gopesa app and you can check your confirmed cashback how much you've earned an overview of your entire account and then you can enter your bank account details and transfer it back into your bank account usually most of the cashbacks are tracked within 24 to 48 hours if that is not enough you can also earn a little bit of extra money through their referral program where you invite your friends to shop on GoPesa and you get flat 10% referral earnings from your referrals GoPesa cashback. So your friends GoPesa cashback, you get flat 10% off that. So that's amazing and it's a great way to earn a little bit extra, save a little bit extra. So with all of that being said, let's get into the lip swatches. So the first shade we have is the shade Brandy Harrington. This is a shade that has a little bit of red terracotta undertones to it. So you might wonder, is this really a nude shade? But it is for people of deeper skin tones. And I have to keep in mind all skin tones when I'm recommending nude shades. So this is something that you can wear without makeup. Even if you are of a medium skin tone, it will not wash you out. And and it's a very comfortable formula so try this out if you are tired of very dull nude shades so the next one we have is the mac lipstick in the shade creme in your coffee this is a cream sheen lipstick so this one is a very very subtle nude shade for medium skin tones and uh, this would look really nice for pe people up to medium skin tones if you are anywhere deeper than that it might wash you out but you can wear this however with a darker lip line underneath it or just uh, line your lips and then use it and then you can pull it off a lot better it is a very comfortable formula if you're tired of mac liquid lipsticks and lipsticks that you feel like are really drying you should try out the cream sheen formula it's a lot more like glossy and nice feeling on the lips so next up we have the mac lip liner in the shade spice even though this is a wooden lip liner it is a little bit creamier on the lips it's very easy to apply it doesn't really tug and pull on your lips as much but it can be slightly drying depending on how your lip is on that particular day but this is such a nice shade if you want to use it to line your lips to fill in your lips and then you can use any other lip product on top of it be it a lipstick liquid lipstick or a lip gloss Next up, we have the Spectre Cosmetics Lipstick in the shade A-Lister. Now, this is a very, very subtle nude shade for my lips. I would recommend this for people with light to light medium skin tones for sure, not anywhere deeper than that. And uh, the formula of this is a little bit rigid, but it's a nice pigmented um, 
pinky nude shade so next up i'm going to be talking about the mac lipstick in the shade smoked almond this is an amplified cream lipstick uh this shade can be a little bit bright for a lot of people to call it a nude but uh, from the reviews I, I watched and everything a lot of people call this to be a nude shade and that's the reason I included it a lot of people like how this looks it's very subtle it's a little bit peachy and bright looking so it depends on how you like your lipsticks to be next up we have the mac powder kiss liquid lipstick and this one is in the shade impulsive so this is sort of like a light burnt orange shade that looks very very subtle on the lips and without any makeup on this would be like a perfect nude shade for a lot of skin tones and yeah so next up we have the daily forever 52 matte lipstick in the shade versilla this is a really nice brown toned nude shade next up we have the miss claire liquid lipstick this one is in the shade number 02 it's again a brown toned nude shade now a lot of these would start to look a little bit similar especially if you're watching the lip swatches all together this is quite a common shade it is something that you might already have in your collection but it's a really nice wearable brown toned shade now this shade is more um orange compared to the previous one it's a very subtle nude shade for people of medium and medium tan skin tones and you can wear this without makeup as well if you are anywhere deeper than that it might wash you out and if you are of a lighter skin tone than i am of course it's going to be a little bit more deeper looking on your skin i like the formula of these miss claire liquid lipsticks they are not very drying on the lips i expected it to be drying but they dry down to a complete matte finish but they don't dry out your lips which i like next one we have is from Too faced this one is their liquid lipstick in the shade sellout it's very very muted uh, like a pale nude shade so to pull this one off on its own is a little bit harder because it's very pale so i might need a little bit of makeup or a darker lip liner underneath this to make it work next up we have the shade from elf cosmetics this one is their liquid matte lipstick in the shade praline it's a really nice cool toned nude shade i'm not going much in depth about this different people wear these kind of shades differently formula of the elf liquid lipsticks are a lot more comfortable from the time i first tried them they've repackaged it the formula has changed it's a lot nicer it's not as drying i wore this the entire day yesterday and it was not drying at all now the next shade that we have is the Bellora Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in the shade 20 Hazelnut. Now don't look at it like this and judge this shade, okay? Just imagine this on someone, deeper skin tone. How would this look? So beautiful yet wouldn't look too subtle and wash you out. And you can wear this on a daily basis. I really like this one and even underneath mask. So next one we have is from the brand called House of Makeup. And this is in the shade Brown with it. This is a really nice cool toned brown shade would look really beautiful on people of deeper skin tones it will look like a nude shade but just keep in mind that it is a little bit cool tone and i'm not very sure how many people would like this of course you can pull this off even if you are of a medium and medium tan skin tone if you are lighter than my skin tone this would look a little bit too dark and grungy on you so keep that in mind i really like how this shade looks on my lips beautiful and then we have the mac love me liquid lip color in the shade hey frenchy so this shade on the MAC Cosmetics website is described as a warm pink nude but I feel like it's a little bit more lilac looking on the lips and it's not as warm as I would like it to be especially for medium skin tone but if you are of a lighter skin tone than I am this might look a lot better on your lips. Now next up we have the MAC Love Me Liquid Lip Color in the shade Coffee and 6 Now this is described as a grey brown shade on the MAC website but I feel like it's more warm than it is uh, like a gray looking shade so this again would look really nice as a nude shade for medium medium tan and deeper skin tones and this is a really nice comfortable liquid lipstick formula if you wanted to try out something that is doesn't really dry your lips out but it's not necessarily transfer proof but it doesn't really settle down ever to a complete matte finish and it's not necessarily transfer proof and you can't really wear this underneath your mask Next up we have the Swiss Beauty Lipstick in the shade Bronze. This is one of my favorite deep nude shades. This would look amazing on people with medium tan and deeper skin tone. If you are tired of not getting that right nude shade for your lips, get this one and you won't be disappointed at all. The formula is amazing. The price point is great. It does transfer a little bit underneath mask but not to a great extent and just love this shade in general. 
Next up, we have the Pack Soft Matte Lipstick in the shade 21 Downtown. Uh, this is a nice shade for people of light and light medium skin tones. Uh, I love the packaging of this. I love the formula of this. It feels so luxe, the packaging and the formula in general. And they feel really lightweight on the lips as well. Now, next up, we have the Sugar Nothing Else Matter Lipstick in the shade Browning Glory. It's a really nice, warm, nude shade for medium skin tones. I like the pigmentation, the formula of this, but it cannot be the same for everyone. I did receive a comment saying that they detest the formula of these uh, lipsticks, so just keep that in mind. Next up, we have the Sugar Nothing Else Matter lipstick in the shade Teak Over. Again, something for my deep skin beauties. So if you are asking me if you should pick this one up or Swiss Beauty Bronze, I would say Swiss Beauty Bronze for sure because both of these are very similar and that one is a little bit more deeper and has slight more pigmentation to it as well. Next up, we have the NYB lipstick in the shade Peppy Pearson. This is a very subtle, warm nude shade and the formula of this is a little bit rigid, so you have to like literally put a lot of pressure to get the color to show up on your lips. So the last one I have, this one is in the shade Brandy Harrington. It's a really nice shade again for deeper skin tones if you wanna wear it without makeup. I wear this one without makeup as well. It doesn't wash me out. Now, if you wanted to compare uh, the Sugar Brandy Harrington, this is how Sugar Brandy, Sugar Brandy Harrington looks like. It's a lot more red compared to uh, the Swiss Beauty Brandy Harrington. This is Swiss Beauty Brandy Harrington, which looks more brown, and this is sugar. I mean, there's just a slight tone shift, but I don't think on the lips they look that different. And this one is Swiss Beauty Bronze. So in case you're wondering if they are similar, they're not. They have different tones to it. So this is again a beautiful shade to wear. So those were all the lip swatches. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I have included a lipstick shade for each skin tone and I've kept different preferences in mind, some warm tone, some cool tone and something that you can wear with and without makeup as well. So not a lot of people like to wear uh, makeup and wear lipsticks. So I am someone in that category. So I have included people like me as well so also make sure that you do sign up with gopesa i will leave all the links in the description box below and let me know what are your current favorite nude lipsticks in the comment section down below and yeah that's pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful if you did give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so that you're notified every time i upload a new video and i'll see you guys in my next one bye Yay. She get to the cash she wants she look like a bad when she wants she get to the cash she wants she look like a bad when she want girl do it